Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Sports Card Show. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we have a brand new product that I just got in um, the other day. This is a uh, new release from Topps Direct and follows, I think, um, I think they've been doing this Topps Mini f since like 2017. Um, I'm pretty sure they did it in 2018. Um, but I have uh, my first boxes of it from 2019. So it's a pretty reliably reduced uh, produced product. And uh, it's one that I'm a pretty big fan of. I think there's a lot of value in these. Um, the boxes cost $24.99 on Tops Direct. This year, there was a limit of three per um, you know customer. So uh, I got my three. Hopefully, you got yours if you were interested in. If not, um, it's something to keep you know your eye out for in in following years um, because I think it's generally a pretty good uh, product for the dollars that uh, it costs from Tops Direct. Um, these boxes cost twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. There are autographs possible. Um, if I can show you here, the top says thirty six cards per box two inserts and three parallels and so generally those parallels i think are numbered um so three numbered cards for 24.99 is you know a really good deal in uh in today's hobby world so i, I really like these um there are i will say <laughs> a lot of cards in here i think it's like um boy when did they oh uh, yes there it is so 990 base cards so there's series one series two and update mini cards in here so it's a very large set um but um that means that you can get you know the series two and update rookies i think theoretically they have the series two like um sp you know versions of the flagship rookie cards for like uh, Julio Rodriguez in here as well as the update. At least that's how they've done it in, in prior years. Like I remember in 2019, um, you could get the, you know, the um, Series 2 flagship SP card in a mini version, you know, in the in this product of, um, of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as well as the uh, 2019 Tops update design. So there's a lot of, you know, potential um, hits in here. There's a uh, you know high number of um, number parallels, and uh, you can get autographs. I've never gotten an autograph in any of this stuff, but it is possible. So again, for twenty five bucks, I think it's a no brainer. If if I could have, I would have bought you know a lot of this stuff, but because of the purchase limit, not really possible. So let's dig in. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna open. Maybe I'll open all three. Maybe I'll open one. Maybe I'll open two. But let's uh, let's get a look inside. In pro this is, I think, the first year that they've actually done you know custom packaging for these. Usually, there's just sort of a generic tops direct um, box that these come in. This year, got fancy uh, you know packaging design, so that's kind of fun. And inside, you see just a a nice little uh, styrofoam protector there to keep it from bouncing around which i think is kind of nice because a lot of times stuff that comes in like mega boxes is uh you know bouncing around in the box and, and can get damaged so just one nice thick pack of 36 cards 35 cards i should say in these bad boys and uh let's dig in let's see what we got in the past years like in 2019 when i got a fair bit of this stuff um i got multiple numbered cards of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And uh, I actually ended up grading those and got PSA 10s, I think, on every card that I submitted from this stuff. So quality control, at least in past years, has been good. You can see the pink parallels. And in prior years, those have been very low numbered, like to 25, I think. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really easy to get... Um, low numbered parallels let's let's dig in so jose altuve and these cards uh this year but i don't know if this is every year i can't remember what the 2019s look like but these are very glossy so much glossier than um 
you know, than, than flagship. So very different look than their regular cards. So Altuve, Patrick Wisdom, Gregory Soto, Marcus Stroman, Garrett Cole, Stuart Fairchild, Nick Solak, Ronnie Dawson, rookie card, Mason Thompson, Austin Meadows. Let's hope, let's hope all the big names are, you know, are waiting for us in the parallels. Is there a nice base of lad? And then we've got a black, and I don't know if that's going to be numbered. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen blacks in, in the mini sets before, but Jose Alcala for the Twins. It's got a nice little chip on the right there, so I'm actually kind of relieved it's not like the best player in the box. Otherwise, I'd be kind of upset about that condition. But so far, everything else, surfaces look clean. These look a bit off-center, left to right, like this particular one. And, you know, a lot of these cards so far have been kind of off-center. So not great from that perspective. Colton Wilker, rookie card, Mackenzie Gore. We're just about to get to the inserts and the uh, numbered cards. And I'm hoping those pinks are as low numbered as they've been in the past. Will Smith, Archie Bradley, and our first parallel is going to be, oh boy, <laughs> Caleb Thielbar. Okay, well let's just see. If they're numbered. So they are numbered to 25, so that's good. Um, you're just hoping you get, you know, one of the big name rookies. Um, so that's kind of a cool one. Vladdy and uh, Wander Franco there. Number to 25. And this one's looking pretty nicely centered. So I like that a lot. Uh, corners look pretty good. So that's a nice one. You know, I don't know if that really is going to have any value because it's just a, you know, kind of a, I don't know what you call these, like a highlight card or something. Um, but, you know, it's got one of the top rookies from the year. Jake Cronworth. Rookies. Horizontal. Oh, nice Hunter Green. Just uh, I'm not sure why this is at the end of these with the inserts and parallels, but maybe it's something like an SP or something. Bring it aside there. Javier Baez. Pete Alonzo, very nice. And that's it for box one. I think that, I think that sort of uh, entices me to open the second box, but not because we got anything particularly good, but because um, I hate to go out, you know, without a little something better. Get into this guy. All right, so today I'm recording on a new computer I just got today, and uh, I actually found out just kind of by pure luck that when I opened up my recording software on my computer that I used to do live streams, which I have not done on this channel, but I have done on some of my other channels, that uh, it has the ability to connect to, to my iPhone, which is what I generally record from, but I record to the iPhone. And... Uh, now I can record directly into my software on my computer, which I use to stream, and I can also do, you know, just regular recorded videos like this, so that's pretty exciting. Hopefully this video turns out well. Um, I'm really liking it if it uh, if it works. It's nice to use the iPhone, but get the recording going on my computer. So stay tuned for lots more videos if, uh, if this works out well. I'll be inclined. So this is interesting. Now the pinks are kind of throughout this thing. There's one right here at the beginning. Avisail Garcia. It's going to be number 25 as well. Ernie Clement. Brock Holt. Uh, so really haven't gotten any of the rookies other than that Wander Franco kind of dual player card. I guess one thing I wish they would do is is kind of trim down this the checklist here because they basically try to repro reproduce like the entire you know flagship sets series one series two and update and I kind of feel like 
I don't know. You don't really need that. If you can only buy three boxes, the idea of putting together a full set of this seems just about impossible. Chris Bubich. Glenn Otto, former Yankee. Yeah, boy. Just not getting anybody good. There, finally. <laughs> so nice J-Rod rookie debut. Um, the rookie debuts, of course, are less desirable than the um, than the flagship cards uh, without the rookie debut on there. But hey, any any Julio Rodriguez rookie is a good one in my view. Ryan Pepiot, Ricky Henderson, Kyle Schwarber. Okay, <clears throat> well, nothing too crazy out of any of this. I think I am going to hold off on opening that final box and maybe find something to do with that. However, I am going to do a giveaway here. So if you've been uh, watching this video and you'd like to get um, all of the cards I've opened here today, including this J-Rod um, rookie, check out the description of this video. There's going to be a link in there to pick up these cards for free, but you will pay $7.99 shipping, which is a standard shipping charge on my site hotcardboard.com where I sell uh, sports cards. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hope you get, get yourself some 2022 mini. It looks like boxes are maybe going for like 50 bucks, I think, in the aftermarket. I just did a kind of quick search here. Um, so I'm seeing them for like 55.99 on eBay, but that's just one listing. I haven't really looked um, to see if there are others. There's, oh, there's others selling for 40 bucks, some are selling for 50, 55, 65, so it's kind of weird. People are putting out, you know, all sorts of different prices on these. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you all next time on the Sports Card Show. Have a great one. Bye now.